Yellowstone's supervolcano could blow faster than expected. New research shows Yellowstone's supervolcano could be good to go real quick. In geological terms, a new study of ancient fossilized ash suggests Yellowstone's supervolcano could become active much quicker than previously thought. Arizona State University researchers looked at fossilized ash deposits from Yellowstone's Lava Creek Tuff and found the volcano became active after two injections of fresh magma. They found the minerals showed that the critical changes in temperature and composition built up over a few decades. Supervolcanoes have an eruption magnitude of 8 on the Volcano Explosivity Index and spit out more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of hot rock and ash. For now, Yellowstone's supervolcano hasn't shown any indications of an eruption, although experts agree there's no way of knowing when the next blast will occur. Thank God nuclear war will have us wiped out before that can happen. It's gonna blow! Volcano Rising Scientists have located the magma source of an Italian supervolcano that's considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Campi Flegre is a volcanic caldera to the west of Naples, which last erupted in 1538, but was responsible for a series of small earthquakes in the 1980s. Researchers who have long puzzled about where the caldera's magma is coming from have now pinpointed the location of a hot zone about four kilometers under the nearby city of Pozzoli. From 1982 and 1984, rising gas and magma caused the ground in the crater to swell, but was prevented from rising to the surface by a deep rock formation. The magma instead spread out laterally, causing minor earthquakes. The caldera has grown hotter since, and with pressure building, scientists fear it could soon erupt and put the entire region at risk. Volcanologists cannot say for sure what the scale of any future eruption could be, but are closely monitoring Campi Flegri. Erupting volcano forces island-wide evacuation. Residents are being evacuated after a volcano on one of Vanuatu's northern islands began to erupt. The Monaro volcano in Ambe is a shield volcano whose summit features three crater lakes. The volcano began releasing ash and toxic gas in September and is now spewing rocks and lava amid repeated explosions. Many of the island's water sources are polluted by the eruption, leaving thousands without access to safe drinking water. Islanders are being ferried off the island by an assortment of ships and boats. Other have flown out to safety, as the Vanuatu government wants all 11,000 residents evacuated by October 6. The Monaro eruption poses a serious threat, especially with the possibility of deadly volcanic mud called lahar overflowing down the mountain. The volcano last erupted in 2005. Half of the island's population was evacuated and couldn't return until at least three months later. The Four Main Types of Volcanoes A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface where molten rock can escape. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that shift and move. Volcanoes are often located at the fault lines between these plates. Cinder cone volcanoes occur when lava is ejected from a volcanic vent. Lava is shot into the air and pieces accumulate around the vent. This creates a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Composite volcanoes contain a conduit system that channels magma to the surface. These volcanoes can have clusters of vents along the sides of the mountain where lava flows out. Shield volcanoes are large, broad volcanoes where lava pours out in thin layers, allowing it to travel farther down the shallow slopes. They build up slowly, with hundreds of eruptions creating many layers. Lava domes are created when small masses of thick lava can't flow far from the source, so domes pile up around the vent. The dome grows by expansion of lava from within, and the mountain forms from material spilling off the sides of the dome. If Yellowstone blows, it's goodnight Vienna. A volcanic eruption at Yellowstone National Park would be an American natural disaster on a scale that the country has never seen. The event would potentially see millions of casualties and wipe out the West Coast, with its ash fall stretching far beyond U.S. borders. This would cause a volcanic winter, during which widespread starvation would be a threat. According to UN estimates, global food reserves could last only 74 days. Fortunately, the actual chances of that happening are 1 in 730,000, and America's top brains are on the case to stop it from even happening. To preempt such a catastrophe, NASA has developed a plan to drill underneath Yellowstone and pump its magma chamber full of water, extracting the heat. Cooling the magma rock would occur at a rate of one meter per year, meaning it could take thousands of years to eliminate the risk of eruption. 
The cost of NASA's plan is estimated to be 3.5 billion US dollars. However, the space agency expects the clean energy derived from heat extraction would offset this via lower power costs and the creation of geothermal plants. This plan only covers Yellowstone. It doesn't include the other half dozen supervolcanoes in the USA or the 20 others elsewhere on the planet. But experts say they rarely blow and Yellowstone only erupts every 600,000 years. And when was the last time it blew? Around 600,000 years ago, give or take a few millennia.